I've been to Dubai once. I was there um, in, uh, there was a UFC in Abu Dhabi, and we did the weigh-ins in Dubai. And that was the only time I've ever been there. But I was like, wow, this place is crazy. But everybody I know that goes over there says, like, you can't even believe what you're looking at. There's no crime. And it's this, like, massive city. Yeah. And it's all, everything's, like, opulent and beautiful. And, and, and people are moving there just because it's an amazing place to live. Yeah, but the funny thing is, I'm just like, how long is this thing going to last? Because they're, like, importing water for, like, plumbing, you know? How are they doing that? I mean, I think they're just stealing water from everywhere. Like, we steal <laughs> like we steal water, you know? But it's like... Who owns the water? I have no idea. I, a, I didn't look into it. But it's like all the workers are brought in. All the water is brought in. Like, they don't... It's like in the middle of nowhere in the desert. Bro, it's Daniel Day-Lewis. I drink yeah. your milkshake. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I love Dubai. Like Dubai was a great time. It's beautiful over there. At yeah. least the the small amount of it I saw. Vice had a very disturbing uh, piece about them back in the day too, about the construction. Yes, the migrant workers <laughs> getting crushed. Thank you. They need to do like a sex worker special in Dubai too, because the stories I hear from like the the people who have gone there for some work, mm. like shitting in buckets, dog. Oh Jesus! Like shitting, Christ. shitting in buckets in Dubai. Oh my God! I, th I like feel like that would be a good title of a doc. Shitting in buckets. Shitting in buckets in Dubai. <laughs> oh. That's what's so fascinating about people that there's people that are living at the like the top of luxury at the same time people are living on dirt floors with no electricity in a shack that they built out of scraps just trying to figure out how to eat that day and that there's more of those people than there are the people living in luxury but if you look at any kind of like billboards and advertisement depicts depictments of life it's almost always the luxury one it's always this the person like with the fucking fantastic view of the ocean behind them when they're eating their breakfast at some luxury five-star resort mm. Like, that's what people look towards. Yeah. But it's all existing simultaneously. <clears throat> and then the guy that's actually living the luxurious life, not the actor on the billboard, he's, like, painting an escort to shit in a bucket and then fucking eat it with oh a caviar my spoon. Oh, God. Like, no. Yeah, bro. That's oh, what I'm talking oh about. Oh, my God. I thought they didn't have bathrooms. No. I didn't understand you were saying no, no, shit no, in no, a bucket because no. that's a kink. Yeah, like, put your fucking clear heels on and shit uh. in this bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah. How much does a girl get paid for something like that? <sighs> Jamie just made a noise. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to plead ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, out of all the acts that you would have someone do, imagine, like, that's your thing. Yeah. I would really like to watch you take a shit in a bucket. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just well, like, let's see what you had for lunch. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that Terry oh, Black's barbecue God. in there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oof. It just goes all the way around, man. You get to the top, you get rich, and then mm -hmm. I think you just want to eat, like, just I don't know.